Thank you very much, Amimo, for that report. And uh, as I've already promised you, we have goodies with us in studio. And we have Dr. Daniel Butorire with us from the Texas Cancer Center. We also have Cynthia Kayanga on my immediate right. She is an administrator with the hospital, right? And then we have Irene Were as well uh, with us. So earlier on, we did ask you to leave a comment or maybe a question for the doctor here with regards to cancer. And we're going to pick about 10 of you. And those are the people that we're going to pick randomly. I don't know. Doctor, will you do the favors letter? Yes, of yeah. course. Of so course. we're going to give this uh, to 10 of our viewers yeah. tonight. So let me begin with uh, Cynthia. So one might ask, what differently does Texas Cancer Center do for cancer patients? Actually, I hear you have a problem with your voice there, but let mm. me uh, start with Irene. She doesn't have a man. Oh, so what do you do? Okay, I think I was supposed to start with the doctor, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Both Irene and Cynthia have issues with their voice there. So, Dr. Tari, one will ask, what do you do differently uh, mm. for cancer patients? Um, what I'll say is that in Texas Cancer mm -hmm. Center, we accept uh, NHIF card. Mm -hmm. we find uh, most of the private hospitals in the country, NHIF card does not offer exclusive treatment for the patients. Mm -hmm. But at Texas Cancer Center, we ac accept uh, NHIF card. Yeah. And then apart from uh, just dealing with the treatment part of it, mm -hmm. we also do um, counseling. Mm -hmm. We are also doing palliative care for the patients who are uh, very ill and uh, we, we, we really support them and uh, their family and mm -hmm. encourage the patient uh, to go through the journey of the disease. Mm -hmm. So yes. with regards to other private entities, because we have a lot of other, of other you know, private hospitals in the country, so yeah. how different are you from the rest? Are you giving people some sort of subsidized you know, kind of... Uh, uh, you know, charges? Yusuf, you just said it. Mm -hmm. uh, um, our charges at Texas Cancer Center are subsidized. Mm -hmm. It's not like uh, in any other... Uh, actually, we are the lowest when you compare all other private hospitals. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean that we, offer, we are low because we offer low quality. Yeah. But in Texas, we believe in... Uh, trying to assist each and every patient to mm -hmm. make sure that they get treatment. Dr. Sari, allow me to look at the statistics. I believe yes. maybe it has changed. Uh, 40,000 cases of cancer are mm -hmm. reported annually in Kenya. Yes. 28,000 annual mortality rate. Mm -hmm. And it has been rated as the third killer disease in Kenya. Why do you think that is the case. Why does the I mean cancer cases keep on keep on increasing? Is it mm -hmm. is it does it have something to do with our lifestyle? Okay, in statistics uh, for example, we'll say mm -hmm. uh, we, we have uh, now better technologies to diagnose cancer. Mm -hmm. And we have awareness. Now, people are aware that when you, can, when you go to hospital, you can be diagnosed of cancer because of the machines and everything. Mm -hmm. But we can also see lifestyle has also helped to increase the incidence of cancer in the country. Yes. It, it, it's 50-50, it's, it's partly because of the new technology that is able to pick up mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the diseases in early yeah. stage mm -hmm. and also due to the lifestyle. So it's 50-50. It's, it's not just that the diseases has increased, mm -hmm. but also we have the machines that we didn't use to have mm -hmm. in, uh, in, 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 in uh, those days that can pick the disease. Now, uh, if you look at, for example, Kenyatta National Hospital, most of these people who come and seek treatment there, you mm. know, are people from rural areas, you know. They're yeah. not necessarily from Nairobi, and they are forced to pay rent mm. on top of, you know, the uh, charges required by the hospital. Mm -hmm. So do you have, like, branches outside Nairobi and other towns? Yes. We have, uh, currently, we have a branch in uh, Eldoret, mm -hmm. And we are planning to roll out uh, branches all over the country mm -hmm. because we, we are seeing this need for such services in uh, this country. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, uh, Ali, we did ask our viewers to tweet, maybe leave a comment or ask a question. Pose mm -hmm. a question to you. I'm going to post some of the questions to you. Okay. Uh, let me start with Nancy Okuta. Actually, this is not a question. She has, she has just left a comment. Mm. She's saying, as a resident of Kisumu, I have worked with many cancer survivors, and it's usually saddening to watch them uh, fighting to survive another day. But through undergoing chemotherapy, we are hopeful that all is not lost. So let me uh, look for a question here. Um, at Shaban says, what is the approximate 
lifespan of one suffering from cancer irrespective of the economic strength. You see, mm -hmm. hospital charges actually is asking basically, you know, that those who can't afford. Yeah. And that is the reason as to why, you know, they lose the fight against cancer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, also in cancer treatment, we talk of uh, survival rate, five-year survival rate. Mm -hmm. You know, treatment includes so many things like making the life of the patient comfortable and all those other things. Mm -hmm. Cancer treatment depends on the stage of cancer. Yes. But in Kenya, what we are seeing, we are getting most of the patient at a very advanced stage. But we, can, we cannot say we can't do anything. Do you think if, that is partly because of lack of awareness outside there? Yes, the partly because of lack of awareness. Mm -hmm. Number two, we have those uh, centers and herbalists who are delaying the patients from coming to get what we call the definitive treatment, treatment. from there. Yes. yes. Uh, one more question from at, uh, at Skova who says, cancer awareness needs to be considered, something you've mentioned now, especially True. to men yes. who still think breast cancer affects women, on, uh, women alone. That's a very good question. Mm -hmm. Most people think that breast cancer affects only women. But we have seen men who also get affected by breast cancer. But the percentages of men who get affected by breast cancer is mm -hmm. between 1 to about 3%. When you put all patients who have breast cancer, you mm -hmm. find that the men, mm -hmm. male uh, patients will uh, account for between 1 to 3%. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that men cannot be affected by breast cancer. Another question here, that those who consider that, you know, initially cancer was considered as the old man's kind of disease, but it's also affecting the youth. Yes. Because the numbers are also increasing among, among the youth. Why do you think that is the case? The numbers are increasing because of the dynamics of life. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, cancer of the cervix, it used to, be, to affect very old men, uh, old women, sorry. Mm -hmm. But now, you see, with the uh, early onset of sexual intercourse and uh, other comorbidities, like, for example, co-infection with HPV, which is a human papilloma virus mm -hmm. that causes cancer of the cervix, mm -hmm. and early sexual intercourse has also reduced the age significantly. And then the hormones that we are talking about, it has also reduced the age of onset of breast cancer. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, let me post another question here from our viewers. Mm -hmm. We're getting a lot of reaction here on, on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And uh, at uh, Chesinga, Kennedy says, what measures have the private sector, uh, health sector, put in place to cure and educate people about, about cancer? Are they doing something? Yeah, like in Texas Cancer Center, we have what we call awareness creation and free cancer screening. Mm -hmm. Like when it comes to October month, we screen for breast cancer for free. Mm -hmm. We also go reach out to schools, communities for screening and awareness creation. Mm -hmm. Yes. At Sadak says, what are the causes of cancer? How can we prevent it? Yusuf, you uh, will bear with me uh, about this, that there is no exact cause of cancer that is known even to scientists. Mm -hmm. But we talk of risk factors. No. When you have this risk factor, your chances of getting cancers are high. Mm -hmm. But the most important significant risk factor for, breast, uh, for cancer, especially breast cancer, mm -hmm. is your genetics. If you have a family member who has suffered from any type of cancer, mm -hmm. your chances of getting cancer are higher, much mm -hmm. higher than any other mm -hmm. person. But then we have other things like smoking. Uh -huh. you, recently you saw the ministry banning uh, smoking of shisha, mm -hmm. even cigarettes, yes. other things like viruses and other bacteria also help to increase the risk factors of mm -hmm. cancer. And the most important thing is that also, and then lack of activity. Mm -hmm. You see, we are telling people to be active. Exercise yeah. helps to prevent cancer. Of course, this is a very serious debate. It's something that people need to talk about. Mm -hmm. It's a disease that causes... I mean, 40,000 cases are reported every year, more than 28,000 deaths are reported every year. Mm -hmm. And at this moment, uh, cancer has been ranked as the third killer disease yes. in the country. Now, Dr. Ari, it is a Friday. This yes. is Friday briefing, mm -hmm. normally hosted by Betty Challenge. It's a very easy <laughs> show. And I see you have goodies here once again. And yeah. I see a flower as well. This is meant yes. to do it. This was meant for Betty Challenge. Oh. <laughs> Betty. I, think, I, think, I think you have to look for her. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll give it to you. Uh -huh. When you meet her, please. Okay. Give it to her. It's from Texas Cancer Center, especially from our director, uh -huh. Dr. Catherine Nyongesa. Uh -huh. She says, you guys, you are doing, doing a great job. 
Actually, Yusuf, I didn't know you were the one who is hosting this. I, otherwise, okay. I will have half some, something <laughs> for you. <laughs> that is sad. I mean, <laughs> and it's a festive season. You're not expecting yes. something from your director. Anyway, yeah. I was just kidding. On a series, <laughs> not now. And uh, we're going to pick the winners uh, shortly. We're going to pick 10 of you randomly. But we're going to do that after this very short break. Stay with us.